um, Russian Federation. Um, Dimitri, you have the floor. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Christoph. Uh, do you hear me? Yes. Uh, Mr. President, I'm sorry to say that we abstained on Syria cross-border mechanism draft uh, because uh, we are disappointed how the pen holders conducted the whole process. It was since the very beginning overshadowed uh, by their clumsiness, uh, disrespect and even despise of Security Council agreed rules and, and procedures. Uh, we could have arrived to this result much earlier. And uh, one most important uh, border crossing to Idlib is what Russia was proposing since the very beginning. I also have to say that what we're having now is not an AOV, an exchange of AOV, because we agreed that AOV are presented in written form. And your decision to uh, hold this round of uh, speeches is also against the agreed procedures. I also have to say, since we started this exchange, that the hypocrisy and double standards of our Western colleagues attained unprecedented highs during the negotiations. Uh, they were ready to jeopardize uh, cross-border mechanism, but to delete passages on unilateral sanctions and increasing role of cross-line deliveries. But this will not deceive anyone. We repeatedly underscored that cross-border mechanism in Syria does not reflect minimal requirements of international humanitarian law. The UN still has no presence in Idlib de-escalation zone, which is controlled by international terrorists and fighters. Therefore, it's impossible to monitor and to control how humanitarian assistance is delivered and who are its final beneficiaries. It's not a secret that the terrorist groups listed as such by the UN Security Council control certain areas of the de-escalation zone and use the UN humanitarian aid as a tool to exert pressure on civil population and openly make profit from such deliveries. Direct as well as indirect uh, proofs of these acts are becoming more and more numerous. Mr. President, I want to reassure you that Russia is consistently in favor of humanitarian deliveries to Syria with full respect of country's sovereignty and territorial integrity and with coordination of its legal government. This issue should not be politicized. So what we have today, our discussions today, is not about humanitarian deliveries to Syria. We all support this. Our discussion is about politics. And I want to make it absolutely clear. Thank you, Mr. President. I thank the... Russian representative um, for his statement, and I now give the floor to uh, 